um so let's begin with the contract management um first we will be checking what all plugins we need to uh, get the contract management uh, in service now so uh, here we will be first talking about how we will be getting contract management with the asset management plugin so go to the plugins um open if you check if you have asset management plugin installed if not the minimum plugin you will be needing is asset management if you are going through asset management there are other plugins as well uh, where you can get the contract management like uh, software asset management or hardware asset management but here we will be going through the asset management plugin so once you open this i have already installed this plugin here in this family of the plugin you will see that a contract management is already installed as part of asset management here you can see so in this way you can get the contract management installed in your system so uh, this this is the plugin which is needed now let's move to the uh, roles which comes with the contract management so there is just one role which is available from the service now uh, for the contract management is contract manager so this role um, contains another role that is financial management user and this with with this role contract management role a user can create edit and delete the contracts so this is one of the basic role which is needed for serve, uh, managing the contracts so we'll see how does the contract form looks like and what are the components which are there in the uh, contract from service now so when we type contract in the left navigation we can see these many things available from service now these are the different product models we will talk about them uh, once i open a contract form and uh, we have been given a models uh, modules in the left navigation to navigate through them so we will be going through all so here you can see we can create multiple contracts from uh, from this uh, contract management and the table for contract management is ast underscore contract now we are, we will be clicking on the new button and this is how the contract form looks like so these are the different uh, contract models which are nothing but the product models uh, which you will be which we will be getting so these are the different types uh, like what kind of contract we are creating it it is a con uh, nda or a maintenance contract or a new hire contract or insurance or any kind of contract which we are creating here so this is kind of a um, category uh, which we are uh, creating here so suppose we are creating a nda type of contract then we have to select the vendor for which vendor we are creating this contract for contract number this is like a field uh, where you can give some number to your contract some description so here the start date field has a dependency on state and substate so there is some logic uh, behind this start date so we will uh, discuss in the next video on this we will give a uh, contract administrator like a user who will be managing uh, the contracts we need a approver because there is a approval workflow attached with the contract whenever a new contract is created if you want to give some business owner who will be taking strategic business deci decisions so we can give the business owner as well now uh, coming back to the tabs available here so this financial tab is something very crucial um here we can enter the de financial details of the contract uh here we have different type of uh, schedule monthly quarterly weekly by weekly then we have payment amount so suppose uh, if we are uh, so there is a applicable tax available here if we give exempt this means no tax will be applicable if we select the option as sales then there is a effective tax rate which get additional to the total cost so uh, we can adjust the tax rate based on the different uh, contracts so this is uh, another thing in this 
then we can give vendor account po number cost center which is referring to cmn uh, cost center table which comes from the project portfolio management this is the tab uh, which uh, stores the information for the renewal so suppose we want uh, our contract is ending on the 31st and we want to uh, renew our contract so we can enter the dates for uh, start and end date uh, for the renewal and likewise we can enter the adjustment of cost based on the renewal uh, we can enter here so this here is one of the checkbox available uh, which is called as automatically renew so uh, i just want to make it clear that this automatic renew checkbox doesn't mean that this will be automatically renewing the uh, contract this checkbox is just for the reporting purpose here so that uh, to borrow if you want to renew any of the contract you can just then we have last terms and condition tab so here we have different terms and condition associated with any of the contracts so those can be attached to, the, to this once we save it our contract is saved now what this submit for review ui uh, a button available here does so uh, our contract is created but uh, this submit for review needs approval so now a contract needs to be approved uh, in the system by the approver before we move forward for any other renewal or any other um, options available by service now so first we will su uh, submit for review we have selected approver here so once we submit the contract some of the fields become read only after that you cannot uh, edit them and after once it's approved uh, major of the fields will become read only because this is the decision which has to be taken before the approval so this all the fields will become read only so i'll approve it so now if you have observed here the state is changed to active and sub state is changed to none so whenever a con new contract is created and if the start date is today's date then it will be automatically making the state to active and sub state to none there are various other states and sub states available based on the different conditions of, uh, um, on the dates we are selecting so we will be talking about that uh, in the uh, coming videos on the states and sub state so we have approved our contract there in the under the related list we have child contracts to, so under ch child contracts we can have uh, like hierarchy of child contracts under another child contracts so this is the option available here and the contract which uh, suppose we are creating a new child contract here so the current contract will be automatically populated as a parent contract the name which we have given there in the similar way once we save this contract we can add another child contract and the current contract will become child, parent to the uh, related list new child contract so the hierarchy will continue in this way then we have expense line users covered if we want to enter any users who should be covered as part of this contract assets ci offerings service commitment for contracts the approval history like uh, what is the current state of the contract who approved it and what is the contract that we can see from here the contract history like when is the start date and end date of the contract so in this way we can uh, see these many a related list out of the box available on the form